front of me as a Blackview A90 and today I'll try to show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now I'll be straight up with you and I'll mention that I am gonna be doing this as I go. I haven't backtested yet so this will be basically a live if obviously you see this video then it works. Uh, if you don't see this video then I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, so let's get started. I can obviously see the phone right here as I locked and I could unlock it using the pattern or the Google account, which you should be able to see in a second. So there we go. So um, to get started, you will want to progress a little bit through the setup till we get to this page right over here where you get to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Do so and then back out to the first page. So right here and then select vision settings, select talkback and select this right here use talkback talkback on welcome to talkback welcome to talkback page one of five talkback now i'm gonna mute it as much as i can just so i can talk kind of over it so anyway once you see this page right over here with the welcome to talkback what you will want to do is draw a mirrored l on the screen like this This will bring up a window, so from here select the first option, which is already kind of selected with this green outline, so you'll need to double tap on it. And then single tap to select the use voice commands, and then we'll double tap it. Now before we double tap it, I'm going to quickly go into what uh, we will do once we double tap on it, because it is a little bit time sensitive. So once you double tap on it, you will most likely hear a beep, which will signify that the phone is right now listening to you. And you want to give it a voice command saying, open Google Assistant. Once it opens up the Google Assistant, you'll hear another beep and you want to follow it up with open YouTube. So I'm gonna do that right now. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. So as you just seen, uh, that's basically what we needed to do. Now, once it opens up YouTube, you'll want to hold volume up and down at the same time. Press. Select turn on, double tap, and hold those two keys again, volume up and down. And this will then allow us to use our screen normally. So from here, stop on the account icon, settings about and then google privacy policy we're going to select chrome i will also select always accept and continue and no thanks from here navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass If you need a moment to write it down, do pause the video. From here, you want to scroll down to settings right over here. And once you open it up, uh, we will start off by going into, let me quickly find it, accessibility, there we go. And you want to select accessibility menu and toggle it on. So low. Got it. We can now go back to the settings right here and then we're gonna navigate to apps and notifications. I'm gonna select see all 47 apps. Then we're gonna select show system under the three dots and in here I'm gonna start off with Android setup. I'm gonna disable, disable app for stop go back then there's another Android setup so here we just have for stop and okay and then I'm gonna scroll down to Google Play services and there we go Google Play services and again select disable disable up for stop and okay and from here once you have done this, we're just going to back out to the very beginning. There we go. 
And now we're just gonna progress through the setup. Okay, so once you see this happening where it says checking for updates and then it just stops, gives you just a second and goes back to checking for updates, that's what we need to see. So from here you will want to select this little guy, select assistant and this will show up settings button though it only stays uh, there for like a brief moment so you want to be very quick about it. Press on that settings which then should show us Try to get it up. Enable button right here for the Google Play services. So as you've seen, it doesn't work every single time. So you'll need to keep on repeating this till you actually manage to enable it. Now, from my personal experience, though it might just be a placebo, uh, it feels like the faster you try to do it, uh, the the faster you will get it actually enabled. So I think if you try to do it faster, the phone will slow down with the amount of inputs you're putting in and it will stay with the window open for a little bit longer, enough for you to be able to enable it. So if you can't get it enabled, just try to pick up the speed. And if you're doing what I'm doing, which is pressing on the guy, assistant settings and trying to get the enable option, then you're doing everything correct. There we go. So now that it's enabled, we're gonna go back once. And as you can see, it just kind of skipped the verification portion of the device. So here we can just finish up the setup. Now, like I mentioned, I'm doing this as I go, uh, so this is just like a general way you would bypass most phones. And I'll right now also add, considering I think this will go through smoothly, that the process is still not finished. So don't click off of the video just yet, just because you can see the home screen. So once you have uh, your home screen open, as I do right now, you'll want to navigate into your settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system select reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data. And once you press on that button once more, this will initiate a factory reset. Which actually, first time around, I'm gonna do it as I change, just so you can see this on the video. Normally I would say that all you need to do is press on this, it will go through a factory, then you can set up your device however you want. But because this is not tested yet, I'm literally testing it as I go, but if you're watching this video, it works. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go through it just so you can all see that it is working just fine. Now, once the actual factory reset has been finished, I'm gonna go through the setup, uh, skipping everything that I can. Uh, so this is gonna be a really quick one without actually adding uh, any kind of Wi-Fi or Google accounts or anything like that. I'm just gonna skip all of that. So anyway, I'm gonna come back once I can actually see the setup screen. Okay, so right now factor reset has been finished. So like I said, I'll just quickly go through the setup. I do have an option to set up offline, which if the device is locked is actually not an option. And there we go. As you can see, the bypass went smoothly. And that is how you can bypass this phone. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.